last week's game against Colquitt County. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the middle of October, and that, of course, means Colquitt County and Valdosta. It's a beautiful night for football in Valdosta. There are the captains from Valdosta, number one, Steve Everson, number 44, Marcus Williams, and number 81, Shadrick Green. Val uh, uh, Colquitt County kicked off to Valdosta to start the ball game, and this is early in the game, and uh, Steve Everson keeps the ball on a bootleg, picks up two yards. Now we have a second eight, and Steve Everson keeps the ball on a, an option play. There you see the very alert and very uh, good tackling uh, Colquitt team. This is a completed pass. I believe it's our first first down from Steve Everson to number 41, Chris Rocky. Here we have a first down, and that's uh, Tommy Speed, number 21 there. And of course, we're moving later in the, in the football game here, and I think uh, we're getting a, a, a drive late in the first quarter. And that's uh, Nakia McMullen, and uh, behind a real good block by Jesse Hunter, a good trap block there. And uh, here's a great pass play from Steve Everson to our tight end and offensive captain, Shadrick Green. That was a big play in this drive. There's about nine plays in this drive that uh, wound up with a touchdown. And this will, that'll be the end of the first quarter. We move uh, first and 10 uh, in the second quarter. And that's Tommy Speed, number 21, uh, picking up a couple of hard yards inside the 10-yard uh, line. And this will be a touchdown by Steve Everson. Fakes the ball to Tommy Speed, moves off tackle into the end zone. And uh, Sanderson kicked the extra point. He also kicked off, and the score stands uh, seven to nothing. Uh, Ryan, uh, Neil Roundtree snapped the football, and uh, Steve Everson held it for the extra point. Now you see our defense, Valosta defense, go to work. And that's uh, 97 there, and that's uh, uh, Donald Hitson. And this, this ball was fumbled by the Moultrie, the Colquitt County quarterback, and was recovered by number 79, uh, Peter Failer. You'll see Peter come up with the football right there and uh, gave us a, uh, put us in position down around the 10-yard line. Right off uh, the snap there, Steve Everson takes the ball and, and a very accurate pass, a very fine catch by uh, Shadrick Green, our tight end. Again, Sanderson kicks the extra point score stands 14 to nothing Neil Roundtree made the snap and Steve Everson held it. all right we kick off uh, early in the uh, second quarter with a 14 to nothing lead and the ball's kicked into the end zone again that's uh, I believe that's Alan Sanderson all right now here you see the defense and that is about as good uh, awfully good defense. number 31 made the first hit there and that was uh, Sam Thomas one of our linebackers uh, Donald Hitson was in on that, number 97. Here we have a good rush, excellent rush from, uh, from the outside. And I think that was Steve Carson, number 98, who was at right tackle. Could have been number 93, and that would have been Sebastian Davis. We recover the fumble, and that was Lavellis Paul, I believe, that recovered it. And here we have a field goal. We didn't move the ball, but a field goal by uh, number 18, and that would be Alan Sanderson. Uh, and it makes the score 17 to nothing, and we are in the, uh, in the second quarter. Again, good defense. Excellent defense. And that would be uh, number uh, 93 there is uh, Sebastian Davis. Number 49 over there is Franklin Wiseman at defensive end. All right, this is number 97, and that's Donald Hitson. And uh, I believe the official rule that uh, it was an incomplete pass. Here we are on a first and 10, and, and there you see number 97 again, and that's Donald Hitson, defensive right end. Very quick, very aggressive young man. Uh, in the first half, you see seven total yards and one first down, uh, which was an outstanding defensive effort by the Wildcats, of course, coached by Charles Tarpley on defense. Larry Jester uh, uh, coaches the defensive front, and of course, Keith Middleton, the secondary, and uh, Al Akins coaches the ends and linebackers. We're in the fourth quarter now, and here comes Donald Hitson again, a good rush, and we we'll almost have an interception there by number seven, one of our co-captains, and that's Jason J.J. Jelks. Uh, that would have been a beautiful one there had he uh, been able to do that. And uh, here we have our next possession. 
or rather Moultrie's next possession, and a good rush there by number 93, and that would be uh, uh, Sebastian Davis. There you see a good effort by the defensive front, and that would be uh, 49 there is Franklin Wiseman, our nose guard, either be Lavellis Paul or Peter Failer. And 44, Marcus Williams, one of our defensive captains, and Brinson Barker do a good job on that tackle. It, it's punt time, and uh, Moultrie uh, Colquitt County kicks, and we get a fair catch by Jason Jelks, and the Wildcats have a first and 10 uh, in Moultrie territory. Hand the ball off to number 37, David Williams. He uh, moves off right guard there behind Alan Holt and uh, Chris Gingro. And uh, Bradley Grant, center for uh, a couple of yards. Steve Everson rolls out and almost, well, we do get an interception. At number 21 there is Tony Davis, a major college prospect. There were several colleges, Auburn, Georgia, and Florida were there. Uh, had scouts watching the ball game, and uh, there were several youngsters from Moultrie and Valdosta that uh, these colleges are looking. Here we have several uh, uh, new defensive players in the ball game. Uh, I, I think, uh, let me see, uh, number 99, Kevner Dyer is at nose guard, a senior. Uh, number 40 is Don Baker, the defensive right end. Uh, here we get the ball, uh, we stop them, we get, we get a fumble, we get the ball out from Steve Everson to number eight, uh, John Bell, who caught about six passes in the ball game. This will be a touchdown from Steve Everson to our junior uh, halfback, uh, Robert Randolph there. And that was a very fine play, and we were very proud of it. And, of course, uh, Alan Sanderson kicks the extra point, and uh, Neil Roundtree snaps it. Steve Everson holds it. Score winds up 24 to nothing. There you see a good effort, good sportsmanship, a hard-fought ball game. But the way it is in one quad A, both teams shake hands and uh, show the great sportsmanship that we're so extremely proud of. And it was a good win for the Wildcats last Friday night in Moultrie. Well, Coach, that was a fine all-around performance by the offense and defense, and uh, I'm just really still enjoying that win, but I guess in a way uh, we just can't uh, dwell on that too much because uh, Friday night's almost here again, and, and we've got to go up there and play uh, Gene Brody's bunch.